Hi. My name is Elena Booth and this is the Photoshop tutorial for beginners. I'll tell you how to do a quick touch up in Photoshop. Of course, the retouch is best to use the method of frequency decomposition, but if you don't have time, you can use this method. It is not the best, but gives a good result while preserving skin texture. The skin does not look blurred. This is an old method and is not invented by me, but I have adapted it slightly so that it can be used for almost any photo. You can record the action and use it at any time. So, open your photo. First we need to remove very large defects on the skin. I'll take them with a patch tool. You can use any other tool for retouching. Make a copy of the layer. And on a new layer remove the largest defects. Then I can proceed directly to the method. Make one more copy of the layer. Control equals J invert this layer. Menu image correction, inversion. Or a combination control plus I. Now we need to convert the layer to a smart object mode. To do this, right click on the layer and select convert to smart object. A little later, you'll understand why I did it. Now I go to the filter menu and choose other and height pass. The radius to be used here depends on your photo. I put the radius of 15 pixels, and you will be guided by my picture that your image is similar to mine. But it is important to keep your figure easily divisible by 3. Now click OK. Now change the layer mode to linear light. Then the filter menu, choose blur and radial blur. Put blur radius is 3 times less than the value that we used for height pass. I must put 5. 5, because I took for height pass 15. Then press OK. Now you need to add to this layer a layer mask and fill it with black. Control plus I. After that, the effect disappears. Take a brush with a white color and restore the effect in the right places. It is best to take a soft round brush. As you can see, all the bumps are smoothed out, but there is no strong blur. Skin texture saved. Restore an effect only in the right places, do not touch the important folds and shadows, do not touch your eyes and flare at the bow. we can change the intensity of our retouching. If you think not enough or retouching the effect is too strong, everything can change. To change the setting for the filter, make double click on the filter name in the layer. For example, we can change the value for this height pass filter to 9, and change gauzing blue to 3. You can adjust the intensity of the filters under your photo. As I said, this method is not the best but it gives better results than using of the blur filters and i hope this video will help you thanks for watching bye